Well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here, Tom. The beautiful thing that he does is throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get you close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. All right, now our tale of the tape for this Bantamweight scrap. Both fighters are 31 with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the particular, here's Bruce Buck. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Bazooka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, Kutaki Sef at all time will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your court. It was UFC 217 championship triple header, and it was Doug Rose. It was the most insane night of fighting ever. Bisping St. Pierre. Cody Garbrandt got knocked out by TJ Dillashaw. Then Rose Namajunas knocked out Joanna Young Jacek, and we absolutely went crazy. One of the greatest pictures of announcers in sports history. It was all three of us, and we looked like that poster with the monkeys. See no Hot. evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. It was crazy. What a phenomenal night in a great arena. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. His hands are down. High kick, high kick. Game of inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Misses with the right hand. Yeah. 
Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big leg kick land. Superman punch lands. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Under two minutes now to go. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it that with the right time. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. And he switches his stance yet again. Just missing on the high kick there. Big ball for punch lands. Now he'll get back in range. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Back and forth we go. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Now he switches his stance again. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Beautiful body kick. Oh, yeah, right hand. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Clipped him with the right hand there. Oh, good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. Big head kick. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Lee. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Big body kick land. Take him down. Big head kick. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, big punch land. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. So he... Oh, what a lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight... 
fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, I man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Nice head kick. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, that's a nice strike. He blocks the shot. Three minutes remain in the round. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Real sneaky body kick. Big punch land. Nice, sneaky head kick. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, he counters with a beautiful jab to the head. We told you off the top, he's got a decided advantage in reach, and he put it to good use there. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit. He does a great job of that. And he landed the right hand there. Went for the inside leg kick. That's a big strike right there. Liver Some kick. nice back and forth action here. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. This next round, I want you to relax a little bit. You're too tight. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Great punch landed with so much power.
loaded up on that right hand, too. Right punch is good. The left also flush. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh! Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Good night if that landed. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. We need the takedown. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Just missed with the left there. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much force. Oh, nice hook. That was a crippling shot right there. Threw it real tight. Elbow tight. Big check in it. Landed it right on the chin. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Well-placed kick there by Lee. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. Missed with that attempt. Ooh, what a head kick. Right hand on point. Oh, what a punch. Nice body kick. Body kick is blocked. Hands up, hands up. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Nice kick there by Lee. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everything fly. Out of range with that kick attempt. Powerful leg kick lands.
good punch land. Trying to kick the leg out. Got clip with the right hand. Huge block there. One thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Nice punch. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the side kick, DC. Real nice technique to land that side kick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. Big head kick land. Final 10 seconds of the fight. All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. The winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision, certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight 